So I'm here at the Milton Keynes Museum and I'm talking to a lady who is a powerful force behind uh, this evening's event, Peddling Culture. So would you like to introduce yourself and uh, tell me what Peddling Culture is all about? Hello, my name's Helen Thackeray and I'm the project manager for Peddling Culture. It's a two-year Arts Council England funded programme with the pure aim of getting more people to come to our cultural venues. We want people to come, see, enjoy, understand what Milton Keynes has to offer but we also want them to do it via green transport. I think we're all conscious Milton Keynes is an innovative city and we want more people to use our redways, use our electric car network and generally come and see what we have to offer. Okay, so it's about using a green transport and also using your, your feet and uh, pedalling on bicycles. So mm -hmm. is there a health element to all of this as well? Most definitely. Anything that gets people more active, um, is definitely a health benefit and it's not just physical health but mental health getting people out in green spaces enjoying taking time away from technology and work etc we know is really good for mental health so yeah. all of that is, is key okay um, now I, I'm old enough to remember Milton Keynes before it was Milton Keynes when it was <laughs> just a tiny uh, village mm -hmm. um, so everybody probably uh, identifies Milton Keynes with a very modern city built in a, in a grid network of, of, of roads. Um, so where's the history in Milton Keynes? <laughs> well, just over there is the Roman villa, um, which was covered back up, but there is one of the uh, mosaics on display in the city centre. So we have, we have Watling Street, the V4, um, which is the Roman road, the original Roman road that would have run from north to south of England. We have um, lots of uh, medieval buildings. Milton Keynes Arts Centre is based in um, Great Linford. That's a medieval building. We have, I mean, this isn't medieval, but we do have Westbury Arts Centre. It's from the 1500s, I understand. Um, so we do have, even before the town came, there was something here. And yes. What was here was old, and this was a very sort of prosperous area. It was a very big carriageway. You know, there was lots of people living in this area for hundreds of years. It just, it just wasn't a city. Yes. <laughs> uh, but bring coming up to the the modern day again. Um, we're here in Milton Keynes museum which is probably very appropriate because uh, when people come here they they can actually take a trip into the past can't they mm -hmm, they can and not just take a trip into the past but it prides itself on being a museum where you can actually touch the past as well they invite children to actually wind up the gramophones and put the needle on you can sit in the classroom and write on the chalkboards and ring the bells you know so it isn't just about coming here and experiencing what, what a house or you know would have looked like you can actually touch it and be part of it the phones still ring. Um, you know, you can actually ring each other on on the handsets still yes. that are in there. And you know, for young people now who grow up with just you know touch phones, yes. it's, it's a really interesting concept. But it is a museum where they want you to touch and experience. So th this is an arts council project that, that's two years. Did mm -hmm. you say? Yeah. Um, so how will it sustain itself after the two years? What we're trying to make sure is that everything we do has some kind of legacy or some kind of output. So working with the cultural venues to get them to have electric vehicle charge points, mm. when the project's ended, that charge point is still there and people will come and use it. Designing new cultural trails that will be mapped and downloadable for people to go out and enjoy, they'll still be here after the project's gone. So yes. whilst there are some aspects of the project, like the, the wrapped cars, these yes. wraps will come off at some point, they'll have an impact of raising the profile. Yes. We're trying to make sure that most of the things that we do will have a legacy to them. And it's about changing people's mindsets. Yes. If we can encourage people to not just get straight in the car, to think, can I cycle there? Yeah. Then hopefully you've changed that habit for a lifetime. Yeah. Wonderful. Well, thank you very much for your time and thank you very much for uh, an enjoyable evening. Thank, thank you. you.